Hello and welcome. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday out there. Okay, it's sort of mash, but still, uh, hope you're having a fabulous Friday, anyways. The Senate will be back in session on Tuesday of next week, which is the day after Labor Day, and they are going to basically vote on a stimulus package next week. Plus, the Congress also needs to pass the, the federal government budget because the fiscal year for their budget ends on September 1st of this year. And Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, Steve, not Chuck Schumer, Steve Mnuchin have come up with a deal so that the government budget is, it does not cross over with the stimulus package so there will not be a government shutdown. The job report came in and showed that we added, uh, we added that's right, you heard me, added 1.4 million jobs in August and the unemployment, unemployment rate went down to 8.4%. I gotta admit, that's not that bad. Hi, I am Russ and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 4th, 2020. The Republicans are back on Tuesday and they're going to vote on the smaller stimulus package next week. The Republicans have two stimulus packages out there. They have the one out there that has $1.3 trillion, and that one has stimulus checks included inside it. And then they have the skinny bill, as it's called, and that one does not have stimulus checks included inside it. The skinny bill is $500 billion to $700 billion big, and like I said, it does not have any stimulus checks in it at all. Let me turn my page and I'll show you actually what it does have inside it. The sp skinny bill is the one they are voting on next week, like I said. The skinny bill has money for unemployment benefits, schools, a second round of paytech protection money, money for COVID-19 testing, and money for child care. Chuck Schumer said that Mitch McConnell and the Senate Republicans are, prov are providing an unacceptable and inefficient attempt at providing relief for the American people. Besides the stimulus package, the politicians will also have to vote on the government budget for next year. So basically, they got to decide how much money they're going to spend of our money for next year to keep the country alive. Isn't that nice? Um, they, they want to keep out the, don't have out the post office, but not the people. They want to go on a vacation and not help out the people. Hmm. Nice politicians, don't you think? And on Trump's executive order for the payroll tax cut, basically it went into effect on Tuesday of this week. And the Democrats have already went into legal actions against this executive order because they do not believe it is a fair executive order to have all the 1.3 million federal employees be nailed with a payroll tax deferral as it really is called because it's not a tax cut because it's basically just a interest-free loan that you have to repay next year at double what you would be usually if you didn't have that the problem in the first place and let's see here the republicans actually response to the democrats going Trying to do legal action to stop this bill. The, Dem the Republicans said that this is the, the Democrats are trying to obstruct justice. How is a payroll tax cut or should I say a interest free loan justice? I mean, who says that 1.3 million people actually want to have the Social Security and Medicare wages taken out of their paycheck and then have to pay it back next year between January? first and April 30th at twice what they would be usually. I wouldn't want that. Hell no. And on the executive order for unemployment, 45 states have applied and been approved, plus seven states have started paying out already to, them, to their people. The states that will be chipping in the extra $100 a week for a total of $400 unemployment are Kansas, Kentucky, Montana, Vermont, and West Virginia. And uh, basically, these there's also a few states out there that have actually already started out paying out, so that's a good thing. And of the 1.4 million jobs that was added in August, 
However, <laughs> 238,000 of these jobs were temporary jobs to help out with the census work. So basically, towards the end of this month, when all the census work is done, the 238,000 people are going to be let go. So isn't that nice? We're going we're gonna to be adding 238,000 people to the unemployment line. And they're trying to say that how our... Um, they're going to they're gonna look at the, the numbers and say, oh, wow, we're into single digits for the percentages because I think we're at like, what, 8.4% for the um, unemployment rate right at this current time. But hopefully these politicians don't see it like that. And they actually say, well, you know what, the people still need to help because still 29 point, I think it was like, what, 29.9 million Americans are still unemployed. And keep in mind, I will say this again, if you are part of those people that are a renter, to avoid getting uh, evicted, you really must actually fill out a piece of paper stating that you are a victim of, well, you cannot a victim, you uh, have fall upon COVID-19 hardship, and you need to have it signed and turned into your landlord ASAP to save your house. So you have somewhere to live until the end of this year, and hopefully by then we will have more stimulus out there to help out those people that are about to lose their houses towards the end of this year so they can keep houses for longer. And I am also hoping that we also have more jobs coming available for those people out there because everyone needs to work so we can all survive. That's what it's all about. Right now is survival because COVID-19 has a lot of states in, like, in lockdown still. I know California does. I mean, as I'm sure you guys have heard about the whole Nancy Pelosi thing and going, going into a hair salon and basically saying, hey, wait a minute, I was set up. Yeah, that's right. It was, it was like all over the news because Nancy Pelosi went into San Francisco. She went into a hair salon to get her hair done under COVID-19 restrictions that should have kept that place closed. And she's trying to say how she was set up. Well, of course she was set up. What business owner is going to actually have a camera set up to watch all the customers coming in that shouldn't be coming in, in the first place? But then again, it could also be for security cameras so people don't break in. But like I said, most states are in lockdown, so I'm not sure if that happened or not. But that's besides the point. So basically, um, this was and always will be the people's stimulus check and stimulus package update as of Friday, September 4th, 2020. I hope you all have a fabulous Friday out there and have an excellent night. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow because I got to give you the information that you guys need to know about. That is very important. So until then, have an excellent night. Bye.